and you are on. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We made it for another beautiful week in this hot town. I mean, really? Can it get any more muggier around here? No. I was an absolute whiner about it all day yesterday. So I actually ran down just randomly after uh, weights and jumped in the river. You did? I was like, to hell with this. I'm going to jump it in. So. Uh, when we did the community spotlight yesterday, I was like, listen, Dave, we, were dying. we should just jump in the water right now. <laughs> yeah. It was not a bad idea. Yeah. I feel I, always, like uh, I should be prepared for it, but for some reason, maybe it's because I'm getting older. I don't know. But I have let no me idea. tell you what, this is awful. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I always just say it's because I'm getting fatter, and I'm like, uh, uh, whatever works. Yeah, <laughs> that, this could be touche. Yep. Touche. Absolutely. So, uh, Way to, uh bring I was up out for a few days, but you had a pretty busy week. Yeah, oh, it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we missed you. I'm sorry you were sick. I'm so glad you're yeah, feeling better. Yeah, me too. I was mm-hmm. being a little. We had whiner. I know it's it, man listen. Flu. Uh, yeah. Listen, listen. We don't need the I had, flu. I had the man <laughs> flu. Is what I had. It wasn't that bad, but I was at home dying. So. We don't need that. I yeah. will say that men are a little extreme with their sicknesses. <laughs> for yeah, sure. For sure. Uh, but you guys put the uh, mixer together. Yeah. Put it all off. We did. You know, you got a great team. I mean, you keep us pretty much on track yourself. Uh, so. It's the best thing I got going. Yeah, it was look so at that. Pretty. It's beautiful. You guys did a great job. Thank you, Lisa. You know, we get and sit down and shoot the, you know, talk about it. And this is the plan. Red, you know. black, little checkered flags. D'Angelo's did the food. It was delicious. Mike Costa, busy there at his desk. Um, yes. Kind of being a bartender. Helping so the chamber, <laughs> if you don't know, the chamber puts on mixers in town. And our, it was our turn last Thursday. Yeah. The food was excellent. Yeah. We had the ice cream truck yeah. from Davis Camp. It was amazing. I don't know what that guy's called, but yeah, I heard it was pretty sweet. It, it was, was good. good. Yeah, people really enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, we have Bo as our guest, Bo from the Bo chamber, from the chamber. Uh, this week. So yeah, he'll be here um, Thursday. Tune in. Nice little follow up to our mixer. We can get to talk to Bo about it. And, yeah, uh, Bo's a pretty neat guy. He's uh, you know obviously chamber director, but um, really a neat guy just in general. You know. Yeah. Did you guys mention ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen the banana splits. Holy heck! They were good. The banana. waffle. The waffle. What one. is that thing? I... That was a. Um, so they did a waffle and an and a few scoops of ice banana. cream and a banana. I don't even know. I mean, like yeah, the plates were like this. Yeah, some chocolate. It's some caramel. Wow! It Whipped was cream. Just, that's. It was crazy. I really <laughs> wish I wasn't. They actually now. had a waffle <laughs> dog, which is a hot dog with a waffle around it. I did not try it, but <laughs> it kind of makes me want <laughs> to go back it and Gondo? try it. it I did, and it was good. Yes, yeah. yes. Does the waffle have like syrup on it? No, we're, no I don't syrup. know. No, did they just, taste like syrup? Did the waffle? No, taste like they taste like just a sweet waffle. But it, you, they put the ice cream on with the chocolate, the caramel, everything mixed. No, together. I'm talking about the hot, the uh, waffle dog. I did not get a waffle dog. Yeah, uh, so it's a hot dog with a waffle wrapped around it. Sounds that, like a little much for me. I don't know. <laughs> Despite being a little fluffy and loving food, I actually don't eat Let's that take, much stuff. I'll show you a picture I of, a lot of that? the stuff I like. That's what the waffle ones I was talking about look like. Yeah, that was the waffle dessert. Right, and it had a little bit of everything in yes. it. Yes. It was the Very dessert. filling. Yeah. So but I didn't good. know that there was a big uh, internet debate about pancakes and waffles. Have you seen that? No. Like but it is two different things. Some people are diehard pancake people, and some people are diehard waffle people. And I'm a Which waffle Which is the person. same thing. I mean, it's pretty much the same I feel like thing. waffles are better. Do you know why it's <laughs> different? Here, I'm going to tell you why. Because when you pour syrup on a waffle, the syrup and the butter actually finds little crevices in the waffle. Yeah. Unlike a pancake. I like the crispiness yeah. of a waffle. Oh, that makes sense, Yeah. Too. I don't mm. like either. I'm not I a I like French person. toast. I mean... Uh, French toast is definitely better than both of them. Yeah, I mean, that's French toast. Not even up for debate, so don't even comment about it. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> French toast. Don't even what do you it. guys French like? French toast is up here. <laughs> it's a whole waffles different level. Are here. Pancakes are like <laughs> down here somewhere. My mom so. used to make waffles for us for breakfast often, and it was kind of the family treat. You know, we go up, spend the weekend with them, and she put a little cinnamon and sugar inside of it. Mm. The only time I've ever eaten pancakes in my adult life, my daughter was on a pancake kick for a while, oh. and she like. Then you got to join them. in. Mm. Oh, she did. Yeah, like we just Aww. mix them with the little whatever and yeah. she'd do the thing and that was the only time we've really eaten pancakes and then uh, back to waffles <laughs> yes as soon as she was over that i was like egos in the toaster <laughs> <laughs> here it goes your ego yeah so i'm super uh, super simple like that so. what'd you do this weekend uh i laid on my couch Aww. uh 
and didn't do a damn thing. Was it kind of nice? No. You're bored was, out of your mind. I hated it. I hated every second of it. <laughs> How I was go the to dog? The gym. He snores a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have any pictures of my dog really oh available. Oh, my but gosh. He's the cutest damn thing ever. He is so cute. He snores. Is he snoring like... <laughs> oh, yeah. He can't breathe. <laughs> So it's what the kind of dog is thing. he? He's a French bulldog. French bulldog. Well, that's right. how, that comes with the territory. Oh they they all count. Listen, so I've had bulldogs before. I've had a couple of them, right? But my son will carry the dog from the front door to the air-conditioned truck. Aww. He will get in that air-conditioned truck and act like he's just run a marathon. <laughs> my son carried him the whole way there. <laughs> It Let's just say sense. he is pretty pampered. Oh my god! I mean, he has Auntie that takes care of him, the kids that take care of him. It's ridiculous. The ex, yeah, she everybody. Takes care of him. This that is dog a family dog. Is never, never alone. Left, yeah, wanting. <laughs> so, do you want to know what I did this weekend? <laughs> well, I actually cheated, and I saw what you did. This we weekend. have a video. Do you want to oh show? Oh my gosh! It? it looked pretty awesome. Let's so, show it. Listen, yeah. It, okay. I feel like I just cool down watching this. Oh video. my gosh. I was in yeah, heaven. Yeah, look at that. Actual rain. It was pouring. Like what? Listen to the birds. They are just singing and Actual they were flying. Trees. Yes, in between the trees. Let me tell you what. Mitchell was not feeling good as well. And he was like, we're not going. And I'm like, look, we're already booked. So even if we go to Williams and open the windows and watch movies all weekend, we're going. Yeah, I was so, awesome. It was a oh, done deal. I did yoga. I did meditation. Mm. And we woke up Saturday morning. It was 68 degrees, mind you guys. No rain. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that sounds wonderful. Ah. I went outside once and it was 115. And, uh... <laughs> once. He went outside once. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, when we were packing up, I was like, yeah, we're out of here. If you guys are coming, great. And if you're not, I'm going by myself. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. I... Uh... I have a bad habit of eating dino nuggets. I don't know if you know what dino nuggets dino are. Dino nuggets. They're the chicken nuggets <laughs> yeah, and dinosaur like chicken. Oh, those, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was home. This might sick, be a fun fact about you. And, uh, <laughs> didn't go to the store. I didn't want to do nothing. I really wasn't, like, hungry. I just wanted to eat something. Like, you know, you're sick. You don't really want yeah, to eat anything. Yeah, you don't really have an appetite, but you're hungry. But all I really had was dino nuggets, so I ate dino nuggets. <laughs> With what kind of sauce? I mean, ranch? So, what do you uh, dip no, it in? No, I don't like ranch. I, uh, Ketchup? I uh, like the uh, Kinder's Hot Barbecue. Okay. Oh, That's what I put on all, all right. my barbecue that I smoke. It is the best. Okay. Kinder's? All right. Kinder's well, hot yeah. barbecue. Gives yeah. it some taste. You Listen, know. Don't ever trust the skinny chef, right? No. Yeah. Shane knows. <laughs> Shane knows. <laughs> I know my barbecue. Let me yeah. tell you what. I know barbecue for sure. So um, we actually had some other cool stuff. We had wine and jazz recently. Yeah. We had a cool guest. Yes, yes, yes. So, Wine and Jazz, um, the event was amazing and beautiful. The noon Kiwanis There's put Wine that and Jazz on. and your guest. Yes, and they showed up that. on Thursday. I don't know if you got to see that show, but they're amazing women. A lot going on uh, with their Zen world. Did she say Zen she did Zen. eye surgery or something? What did she yeah. say she did? Yeah, she was a eye, like a not an eye surgeon, but the assistant yeah. for eight years. And she was like, she was like this. She was like, I just lived in this world of like <laughs> eyeballs. She was like, I'm out. It stressed her out. She yeah. was all tense yeah, from it. She was it, talking yeah. about that. I was like, wow. I know. Fun yeah. fact. I don't want to be around surgery or eyeballs. So no. Like, <laughs> I don't want my shoulders all up in the air. Yes. Every time I hear someone talk about, like, I want to be a dentist or uh, whatever, I always oh. think, you want to be in people's mouths? I think that when people talk about, like, being a foot doctor, I'm like, I would not want to <laughs> see people's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning like, to like Karen and Sam. So creepy. Like, come on. <laughs> so creepy. I don't want to be in your mouth, and I do not want to touch your feet. That's yeah. for sure. No, it's mm. uh, obviously uh, those people are fantastic, and I really appreciate modern medical care, but uh, yes. not my thing. No. Got right. a couple guests that you give them a quick shout out Karen Showalter and. And Sam Goodwin. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hanging out in the chat with us. Nice. Did they have any opinions on pancakes or waffles? Uh, no, not yet. We didn't That's get any. That's the important thing. That's no the comments on that yet. <laughs> but I'm sure we will later. Because yes. if it's pancakes, we're not going to validate that opinion. So. No. Let's just be <laughs> honest. The, the syrup and the butter that happens in the waffle is amazing. Yeah. And I, really like wonderful. I said, I'm not really a waffle person. But when I, I'm definitely going to choose a waffle because of that fact. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it's uh, is syrup period. important to you? Like, what type it, it of syrup? A, I mean, <laughs> I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to comment on syrup because it's oh syrup, yeah, syrup the, now the Aunt Jemima. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used that to be an Aunt Jemima guy, and uh, whatever it is itself. now, I won't buy. So. They changed the logo <laughs> yeah, over there. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, what are we doing here, people? What does this fa- world come to? Those are my favorite it's ladies. Just syrup. Oh. <laughs> it's just syrup. You know. <laughs> she made a great syrup. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. I look. I don't get it either. It's whatever. But we're living it the dream. When you live in a world that you could buy whatever kind of syrup you would choose. Yeah, true. Have you ever had natural syrup? No. I have. It is disgusting. It is. It doesn't <laughs> even taste like syrup. No, it's like super runny and terrible. No, yeah. the thought oh. of it just sounds awful. No, I will take the like factory. Give me just the basic syrup. Whatever, it's bad for me. It is delicious. It is wonderful. <laughs> Sam said, it I went out on so the good. river without them. Well, I actually went out on the river on a jet ski, not a boat. So, ah. A little different. Who's but going yeah. on the river this weekend? That's the question. Yeah, that's going to be crowded. Ah. Mm. If you're local, you're nope. probably you know not better. hitting the river. Not going to do it. Not no. going to do it. So I actually I was just talking to you about, because William sounded so nice, like, man, I want to get out of town. I don't know. Uh, I always wonder, like, how is everywhere crowded? Where did everybody leave? Yeah. How is mm. everywhere crowded every holiday weekend? I don't even know. Lake Mead's closed, which means we will we're be gonna get twice extra the, packed. Twice Beware. the uh, tourist. Mm-hmm. I feel Beware. like we should have uh, like water regional limitations. <laughs> we should. You know, like, or just tell them that we found a barrel. Not no body in it. We just found a barrel <laughs> in the water. Yeah. Never, Keep get, right. Nobody There's will come. A, uh, there's a YouTube channel I started following, and uh, they've been documenting the water drop at Lake Mead. Oh. And uh, they go, like, every couple weeks, and they just – so there's Test. landmarks, right? The boat's this far out of the water. Well, now it's this far out in 30 days. And now it's completely out in 30 more days. It's, it's bad. Be dry. Oh, my God. It's terrifying. I wonder what else they'll find. Quit draining your pools, people. <laughs> eh, don't water your grass. Yeah. Get big come grass. On. We need some rain. I mean, come on. Let's all – yeah. I, I honestly like, think that's why Williams, I mean, so we drove up Friday and it was pouring and most of the time I'm like, oh my God, I have to drive in the rain. This is awful, which I don't like driving in the rain, but just to be in the rain, I was so <laughs> excited. Like I yeah. could just stay here all day. I wanted to, I should have just went and laid on the dirt and just yeah. took it in. I love the rain. I love when it storms, but I hate when we have this BS where it's like, Lightning in the mountains, mm. you feel the rain, it never actually rains, so the it doesn't humidity cool down. Hits us. Yeah, and then you just get all the humidity, none of the moisture. Like, yeah, it's awful. That's yeah. where we're at kind of right now, like it's happening. Last Super night annoying. I was at the baseball game. That's what we, I was looking over. It was clouds. It was muggy. The bugs were out, mm. and it was lightning, and you're just like, can you just like give us, just do yes. it. Let's just, go. Yeah. We need a full-blown El Nino. We do. <laughs> you would have we never said that a few years ago. Thing. Now yeah. we're like, bring it on, just please. Just soak this place. We need it. It's <laughs> monsoon. Where are yeah, you? For sure. So who they're else com- likes monsoons? I know they did say. I hope. I do. I like them. So uh, obviously we're talking about busy holiday weekends, Fourth of July. Uh, we have kind of a cool uh, month coming up. We do. We're uh, going to celebrate. Christy, Went out of her way and made sure we had some form of a patriotic themed guest every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. During July. So that's super exciting. Yes. And you kind of got the ball rolling on that. I saw you put a little preview out there. Of, yeah. You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah let's next see community it. Spotlight. Okay, let's do it. Man, if you get a chance to go visit these memorial sites, it is so impressive. Oh, I guess the volume's off. You get off. to see and visualize each name, Sorry. which is just. I don't, I'm kind of at a loss for words, Dave. Well, and, and that's kind of the feeling I think it gives everybody. You go all the way back to World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and you've got, it's, I mean, if you know that you have a relative that served in, in one of these conflicts, it's easy to find them because they have it either listed by the whole state, if it's just a few, or like for World War II in Vietnam, it's by the county that they were from in Arizona. So you can, you can find your loved ones and, and uh, come here and shed a tear of pride with them. Now that community spotlight will wow, drop it's on more beautiful as in July, really breathtaking. I, I believe July 1st, did we say? I or say on the 4th? Or? I would say on the 4th. Okay, we'll but do it know, on the 4th. You're the, you're the professional. Well, Whatever it's up think. to you guys. I mean, you know. Uh, no, I know, we're pretty ready. excited about that. If you yeah, don't know be a good that one. those two memorial sites are here in town. I mean, I don't, I don't even, so I don't even know what to say about it. We knew they were there, but it was actually when you were out on the cop boat. Yeah. Going for a ride, we're like, oh, yeah, I forgot that was there. We need to go like, visit it. It's terrible to say, yeah. but um, it was Man. a good reminder, and I'm glad we went and visited it. And obviously, Dave's a great tour guide. Dave is great. I mean, he's super knowledgeable and can really talk about each step. You know, um, on each different site, you have completely different things, which is great. Um, the community is so huge and involved in it. There's lots of ways to be involved in it if you choose to, also. He talks about that on the community spotlight. 
Um, but we'll have him as a guest too on the. Is that the one you're not going to be here for? That's the one I'm going on vacation. Hey, uh, I don't know if we have any people in there, hmm. but we need a guest host for the 19th. one week. Mm-hmm. Are you gone for one week? Yeah, I mean, I could be gone for two if you like. <laughs> Are you trying to kick me out? I don't want you to miss too many shows. This is uh, this is definitely uh, you guys put in all the all the hard hard work, and I just get to come in here and (laughs) spout my opinion. You just get to be the good looking fella, (laughs) the bearded gentleman. I get to talk about waffles, is what I get to do. So, (laughs) Um, but yeah, if anybody uh, wants to be guest host, shoot us a message. It would be Tuesday, uh, July nineteenth. We'll bring you on and let you uh, come out here and talk about waffles. If you take my job, though, we may have a problem. Oh boy, just saying. Maybe this should be the, Melody. That's who it should be. Melody? Melody, what are you doing Tuesday the 19th? Uh, you'll probably hear from her now. Oh, boy. I don't know. <laughs> Sam says, I don't know about that. <laughs> we got another chat here. It says, uh, don't forget fireworks at the Avi Sunday and fireworks on the river on Monday the 4th. Oh, nice. So just a little reminder there about yes. that. Yes. Come on yeah. up. So, fireworks are back, which is so nice. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, it was so weird. I mean, I guess the whole world was just weird at that time. But, yeah. man, some fireworks have been great in the middle of COVID. Just a nice break, you know Aww. what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I'm glad they're back. I'm not even a big fireworks guy myself. Um, I usually just watch them from my driveway for about 10 minutes. And I'm like, ah, I'm going inside. It so. does give you a different <laughs> you gotta feeling, you got to wait for the though. grand finale, though. Yeah, that's the only part yeah. I really want to see. Go out for the last 10 minutes of it, you know? Listen, when the Avi did theirs, it just brings you – you know, it's a, it's a piece of you, really. You grow up with – fireworks and and the reason why you celebrate you know america memorial day whatever the case so you know it, does, what else it gives really you the feels is um there's something about experiencing things as a group like yeah. you are just yourself watching it but when you watch it you know there's thousands everyone's experiencing it together yeah. it's kind of it's kind of like you watch a ball game like giving me the goosebumps what, well what when we you do. normally share it with people you love right you're normally there with your kids it's it's one of those things that you kind of set as a tradition sometimes most of the time yeah. Which makes it nice. Yeah, that's uh, the only way I'm going to the fireworks if my daughter talks me into it. Yeah, and that's fair. And I will uh, definitely not bring it up. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Just wait for it. I will yeah. not bring it up. If she makes me go, I will go. Yeah. Although, um, if you go and watch the Laughlin ones up in our parking lot, you don't even have to get close. No, and I'll tell you, it's a great view up there. Um, you know, if you don't know where we're at, Google us. That's uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> We're on the parkway, well, right of course. We're on the parkway, right, right the next to the airport. Are. Right next so to the airport. They actually launched fireworks just a little bit south of there, down on the highway. And it, but it's a great view. You have the casinos as a backdrop. Um, and obviously, you can check out the cars while you're there. There's oh, it gets crowded on the hill there, where the uh, air, uh, the air traffic control yeah. is. Over uh, so, just past yeah. L and M. To the tower. That hill gets it's, packed. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone but, likes to watch them up there. Yeah. yeah, if you go up to our lot, don't run into any cars. Please. <laughs> no, you could buy one though if you like. Yeah. That's right. And, you can uh, check it out. You know, we are uh, we are actually open on the fourth. Um, we'll be there ten to four for sales, both locations. Yes. Uh, but parts and services close, so um, we always try to just let people know that in advance so they can plan. If you're expecting some service done, maybe you have the day off. You thought you'd go in. Yeah. Yeah. That's about uh the f- so we're right past that firework. If you look, uh, <laughs> yeah, right past yeah. that. Right there. I just don't think you can miss us. Have you seen our flags? They're beautiful. Yeah. And we are getting uh, brand new flags up um, before the 4th. We uh, we replace those flags like every 90 days. Yeah. Yeah, three months uh, back. Thank you Dang. to the community. Keep. They make sure that we yeah. keep them on we looking tell you, beautiful. We, so. we definitely try to keep them up. But between getting them replaced and getting things up there, uh, getting them ordered, what do we have, like 20-some-odd flags? Yeah. So Someone said, don't forget January 6th hearings. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. I guess that's, I guess, I guess that's for voting. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, the input. We do have the boys and girls um, festive going on. The Is that the fiesta? Yeah, the oh, yeah, fiesta. I got a flyer for that. We can show them that. That's pretty exciting. You can yeah. also start bidding now on the items. Yeah, go check that out and support that. I'll tell you uh, – Tony's gonna be a Tony's gonna be judge. a judge. Oh wow! So Tony's never experienced this before. Our general manager, and uh, he's getting thrown right to the fire. He's gonna yeah. go be a judge. So he's gonna have to pick some winners, and he's gonna probably make some friends and enemies. Real I quick know. Yeah. Listen, he's getting a good taste of what this small town has to offer, and he's loving it. But he's a little blown away about all of our passion. Like we're all so passionate. I think yeah. he's a little blown away by the fact that all of them are. So we've we've had a mixer. 
a wine and jazz and a margarita thing. He's kind of wondering. It's like, are you guys just drinkers <laughs> or what? Is that all they do out here? Is We're like, drink? listen, the river and <laughs> drinks. I mean, kind of goes that's hand all in we hand. Do, <laughs> so, yeah, pretty funny. Pretty funny. Yeah. So, uh, which is really odd because when he came down, he was like, "Wait, what do you mean this is like a drinking <laughs> thing?" And wait, well, there's what? Uh, what's up? Oktoberfest coming yeah. up. There's like. You know, we don't stop. There was year. Bike Week. I bike mean, Week. Yeah. Yeah. Was, <laughs> all the golf tournaments. I mean, you know. Apparently, we're just a rowdy little town. Yeah. We like to have fun. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to town. That's why everybody comes here. I mean, come on. One oh, of these goodness. comedians I really like was on Joe Rogan the other day, and he said he performed in Laughlin. And he said it was flat out the rowdiest crowd he'd ever seen. <laughs> this is like some, you know, this guy travels the country and sells out and we shows. And he was at, uh, I think he was at the Tropicana. That's so awesome. And he said, I was at this place in Laughlin. Joe was like, where's Laughlin? And he's like, oh, just south of Vegas. He says, oh, okay. He says the rowdiest crowd he's ever been in. Listen, you know, we like to have a good time. <laughs> Live life to we're, the fullest, we're everybody. Wild, we're a wild people, apparently. So <laughs> Don't never says the non-drinker. <laughs> he doesn't even drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm super boring. People, I'm telling you, people have a massive misconception about, about what I do. With I my do time. agree. Like, because you always see yourself on the boat, and you know you're here and you're there, and you think, man, this guy has a wild life, and I'm like. He's on the boat with his kids. He doesn't drink. <laughs> Drinking Gatorade. Right he does the football thing. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> And he loves food. Yeah. Every time someone starts, oh, we'll go do this, we'll go do that. I'm like, I don't want to go do that, you know? <laughs> I always say, like, they how do I'm you date? A... You don't like coffee. You don't like to drink. People always think I'm just being a jerk, but I really don't want to go do that. Like, it's not you. I really don't go drink. I don't want to go to the bar. What am I going to do? I can only eat yeah. wings for so long. Like, you can drink for hours. I can only eat wings for, like, this is true. You know? This so. is true. I'm willing to go eat wings if you want to go eat some wings, but. Just go to Vito's. Yes. There you go. Guess where I had for dinner last night? Vito's. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where I ordered pizza from when I was starting to feel better? Vito's. Vito's. Listen, Holly, you know, you got your other your other family over here. <laughs> hey, yeah. you know when you walk in, they're like, oh, Shane, okay, a pizza. and Yeah, they already have the order placed. Depending on which server it is, they're like, are you getting pizza or are you getting your other thing? And I'm like, I'm getting the other thing today, so. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of like Cheers, huh? It is kind of like Cheers. Yeah. It's kind of funny you say that. My parents live in El Camino Village, which is right up. So when we moved to town, we lived down in the middle of Bullhead for probably about a year. And then they got a house up in El Camino. And Vito's right down the hill. Been yeah. there forever. And uh, it's one of those things you're like, wow, I have been eating Vito's. <laughs> My entire life, basically. <laughs> for 20 some odd years. like. <sighs> Listen, you know, that goes back to the family-owned businesses. Um, I went to school with Holly. Her parents owned it then. We had, you know, it was just the place. And so it's one of those things that you're just, I mean, my son works there now. My daughter worked there. It's just, it is It is like cheers. You go in there like, hey, Sue, hey, Bob, hey, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. And almost every time I go in there, I know about half Customers. the people eating. Like. <laughs> yeah, when we go places, they're like, my family's like, Mom, do not talk to everybody. I'm like, okay, I'll try. And I'm like this. I'm like, sorry, I just can't do it. Can't blah, do blah, blah, it. Blah, 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 blah. They're like, oh, Lord. My daughter thinks I'm a celebrity. She doesn't know any better. <laughs> She's like, Dad. Yeah. You know to everybody, everybody. everybody, Dad. <laughs> no, sweetie. I just, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. I know a few, so. yeah. Well, and that really goes, when you spend time on baseball fields, basketball fields, football fields, you you really become one with the community. So I've been eating there longer than the kids been alive, but I coached one of their kids in football. That's how I really got to know them. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Little Hunter. Small now, town. What's he, a freshman this year? Yeah. Jeez Louise. What I hell? know. <laughs> we're getting old. I mean, we were just oh, talking boy. about the fact that <laughs> you have a birthday coming up. Well, it's not coming up that fast, but it is around the corner, and uh, I'm not happy about it. It's the big four. Oh. Yeah. Ah! It no, is well, eight. Uh, that is a life it. changing yeah. year for some reason. You know, I had a mini meltdown at thirty, so I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Yeah, at 40, I think at forty you're like, <laughs> I'm gonna change my life, and then you never know where that takes you. Hey, uh, <laughs> I posted something on my story the other day. I stole off somebody else's post, and it said uh, thirty years ago. Oh. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the seventies, right? That's what the little thing says. It was ninety two. <laughs> <laughs> It was the 90s. Was it, it wasn't 70s. <laughs> it was 92. That was, when did that happen? When did that happen? Oh, well. Look it. Well, I'm going to go with cry it. myself through lunch now. So sorry to bring that up for yeah. you. A little so, dose of reality. Uh, come back. Join us on Thursday. We got Bo from the Chamber. Bo from the Chamber. Yeah. We are uh, very excited to have uh, a good 4th of July, but 
guys, be safe. We don't want to hear about anybody blowing their hand off. No. We don't want to hear anybody wrecking crazy, their boat. Yeah. No Make DUIs. Good choices. Yes. Yes. Don't contribute to the craziness that goes on in town. Let you know Let whatever's gonna happen happens, but uh, let's do our part to have fun yeah. and stay safe. We'll be yep. celebrating um, America the whole month of July, so all stay tuned long. for all that stuff we have going on. Yeah, right. we've got a couple specials uh, for the month of July also coming out. So yeah, we'll have end of month specials for June. Mm-hmm. July is going to be a big celebration all month long. I'm so excited. I think the guys sold eight cars yesterday, which is a big day. Good I job, get to guys. decorate both spaces, so that's really exciting. Yeehaw. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not helping. <laughs> she got a pretty good budget for it, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. A little bit of money to spend. Yes. So make sure you come in and see us. If you're looking for a car, you know where we are. We have the new and the used. We are always there. We will see you guys Thursday with Bo from the Chamber. Have a good day. All right. See you guys.